an exhibition this autumn at Plymouth City Museum and uh, the idea is that they're going to get the old paintings of Newlyn out. They've got a very good collection of paintings by Stanhope Forbes and Lanyon and artists who lived here and painted about a hundred years ago. And um, they're going to um, get them out and show them in the museum and alongside them they're going to show uh, works by artists painted today. And I'm one of about seven or eight of the artists. And I thought the interesting thing would be to paint Newlyn as it is today. The most famous painting probably of the Newlyn School is the um, is, uh, uh, Fish Sail on a, on a Beach by Stanhope Forbes. And um, he's, he's, uh, he's done a big painting which will be on show there. Um, and uh, I thought I'd do the fish market as it is today more than a hundred years later really and uh, it's, it's a very interesting subject. I'm doing one at the moment um, which is on this that's not finished yet but it, it contrasts with the one by Stanhope Forbes in a very interesting way because the Stanhope Forbes painting was painted on an open beach uh, with the wet sand and the fishing fleet in the distance um, and the small little bit of the old harbour on the right. Now since then the harbour has been vastly improved and developed um, and boats instead of being sailing luggers like they were in those days are powered by diesel and the big, some of them are trawlers rather than drifters. And so the many contrasts outside as well as inside. Now the market is now under cover as you can see here it's in the big shed which has been rebuilt several times over the years and um, it's mostly lit by artificial light. There's, I haven't put them in yet, but there's neon lights there, daylight coming in here and there. And the colours of the fish boxes uh, interest me because the, uh, many of them, most of them really, are red and there's green and blue ones, um, primary and secondary colours, whereas the fish boxes in those days were mainly cane and brown. And the, and the clothes that people wore, they, they were brightly coloured clothes. There's a big one here. Uh, well, yeah, I'll show you the big one. There's a big one here. You can see the clothes they wear. They wear yellow waterproofs, uh, yellow um, Wellington boots or waterproof boots, and all, all different colours on their clothes blue. Um, and fish boxes again are red or green. Um, and this, uh, the contrast is so striking. I've done lots of work down on the fish market, like this watercolour. See the red fish boxes there, and the neon lights actually are showing in that one. That was done on the fish market. And drawings like this one, tryouts for the big paintings or just drawings on their own. See the crowds of people inside, unlike in Stanford Forbes days. Stanford Forbes day off on the open beach. Uh, so I'm working on this here, and I, I love red really. It gives me the opportunity to use these colours I like so much. Rather than the, the rather more earth colours and greys of Victorian times, you get the, the primary colours, red, yellow, green and secondaries, well green secondary and, and other bright colours and it's nice to see them. The one thing I do miss in the fish market these days is, is the lighting because instead of natural daylight it's mostly lit by the neon lights and the odd flashes of light coming in from the side here. Um, so it's you know it's a very interesting subject visually, and there's a tremendous contrast with the paintings of Victorian times. Um, so that's what I'm, my part of this exhibition in Plymouth is going to be um, the Newland Fish Market and the fish the fish sale.